speed edit comes with two separate keying systems. I'm going to go ahead and bring in a piece of video that we can use in the background and then I'll bring in a piece of chroma key video that we're going to use and I'm just going to go ahead and set an out point here so we've got a small chunk of this to work with and this is the uh, footage that we're going to want to key. We're going to want to remove the green background and go ahead and superimpose Kiki over top of the video footage. So as I said there are two keyers built in and we have our standard chroma keyer, luma keyer, and this is what was traditionally uh, built into speed edit and we also now have live mat which is freshly integrated into speed edit 2 and this is technology that came from the tricaster so this is the keyer from the standard definition tricasters and it's very powerful I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose the green right off the interface that I want to go ahead and remove and now I can start cranking my tolerance up and get rid of the green let's hit the Y key to turn on our transparency and now we can scrub the project and we can see that we've got a great version of the key going already with very little tweaking. Now we do have some smoothing controls to smooth out jaggy edges on the sides. The live mat keyer also has some edge controls allowing you to do some blur on both X and Y to contract and expand the mat and to smooth the mat itself as well as some spill suppression controls built in. And again, everything here animatable. Anything with the black dot next to it that's a node that can be turned on and off to create keyframes. You also have the ability to preview the mat. Right here we can preview the mat or just what the color channel is seeing, just what the edge looks like, and just what the spill suppression channel looks like. So some mat preview modes. And very quickly and easily we're able to create this key effect. Now I may want to also uh, do a little bit of fade up and fade down on her key instead of just having it pop on and off the screen and we know that we have our fade handles down here but let's go ahead and take a look at some of our control tree items and one of the sections under the control tree is called layer fading and in here we can automatically set a fade in and a fade out time in frames so I'm just gonna go ahead and say do 15 frame fade in do a 15 frame fade out and now we can go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Hello everyone, welcome to New Tech and TriCaster High Definition Portable Live production. Always remember that you have unlimited layers of audio and video to work with, so you can do very complex layered graphics in Speed Edit quickly and easily. Remember, if this overlay area was something that I might want to use on top of other pieces of video or use repeatedly, I can select all of the elements and make them into a sub-project to easily save them and reuse them in other portions of this project or in other projects. Hello everyone, welcome to New Tech and TriCaster High Definition Portable Live Production.